Welcome back to the den for a shave. I didn't shave yesterday. I normally shave every day, but I didn't want to shave for this one so that we can get a little bit better feedback. And that's also one of the reasons why I'm in the den. I want to get some good audible feedback. And I'm also going to use this video to kind of help lead into a rant video that I'll be doing this weekend um, regarding blade gaps, aggression, efficiency, open combs, the whole shebang, and my viewpoint as a guy who has restored probably 1,500, 2,000 razors, um, and what I think, my opinion, what I think makes a razor aggressive or efficient, more efficient, less efficient, mild, right, potato, patata. I'll be using Phoenix Artisan's Scentless. This is one of the first soap tubs that I did only scooping with, and it was one of my early test subjects, if you will. I haven't always been a scooper. For the first seven or eight years of wet shaving, I loaded from the tub, and then I started doing different little tests. My OCD, my ADHD, whatever you want to call it, my my overly analness. Um, I love wet shaving and I really enjoy testing things out and doing different variables and whatnot. And I'm going to keep it simple with topping it off with Mysterium Serum that's unscented and non-mentholated. So the star of the show is going to be Sterling's Hyper Aggressive Plate and a vintage Gillette regular super speed that I restored. I took this razor apart and put it back together again. And as you can see, I've got it polished and cleaned up and it looks as good as new. All right, down to my right, I have a bowl that I've had my brush soaking in. And this is, the, I think the second brush that I restored and redid the knot. So this is a vintage Everetti, and it does not have the original knot in this one. This is a best badger that I picked up online. I'm going to whip that up in my Rodak bowl. I've already got the soap in the bowl. Hope you guys are doing well. I'm doing extremely well. Today is Wednesday. i got to go to work here in a little bit. I have done this exact test once before and I got the results that I expected. I like aggressive razors. I really do. I like all razors. I, I appreciate mild razors. And there's, I believe, a time and a place for all of them. So the for those who might have missed it in my Outdoorsman Friend video, I used the, the Sterling razor. It comes with two plates, or it did. It came with the standard aggressive plate, and then it came with the hyper aggressive plate. And I have the hyper in here now. But in the Outdoorsman Friend review that I did, I used the standard plate. I prefer the standard plate, and I'll tell you why. The standard plate has a blade gap of 0 0.040 of an inch. Put that in a little bit of perspective. The regular super speed, 0 0.025, and the red tip is 0 0.030. So Gillette's heavy, Gillette's aggressive red tip is a 0 0.030. And that hyper, the standard aggressive is 0 0.040. <laughs> the hyper aggressive, the plate is exactly the same. The blade angle and the blade exposure are the same. But what is different is this extremely large gap. And I'll put some photos to help you guys see it. The blade gap on this is a whopping 0 0.075. 0 0.075 super speed is 0 0.025 it's a huge blade gap traditional wet shaving is not designed to be beard elimination it is beard reduction my understanding when the sterling hyper aggressive was designed it was designed for 
a one pass, two pass tops um, shape. And that's fine and that's great. Um, but I don't think that's the best way to shave. I don't think that's the, the best way for your skin. And I also don't think that's the best way to reduce the stubble and get a close shave. I think there is such a thing as too aggressive and this um, got a ton of lather. This old CK base is amazing. Is this the CK? Yeah, I think this is the, I think this is CK1. Might be the Crown King formula. No, it's the, it, it is CK1. It's just, it was before CK6 was made. So what I'm going to show you guys in this video, I got a mirror down to my left, your right. Is that on the first, first pass, I'm going to use the sterling on both sides with the grain. Second pass. On the right side, I'm going to use the super speed. And on the left side, I'm going to use the sterling. For the third pass on both sides, I'll use the super speed. And what we will notice is, and you will hear it, and I will of course feel it, is that there will still be beard reduction. I'll do one pass with the sterling both sides. Second pass over here, super speed. Second pass over here, hyper aggressive. Third pass, both sides against the grain, I will use the super speed. And I fully expect that we're going to get great audible feedback the whole way. And what's your point, Tobin? My point is, is beard reduction and that this hyper aggressive razor, even with two passes, will not have eliminated or reduced the beard as well as this guy. Right? Call me crazy. I am crazy. I've been called worse. I've been called worse by my own kids. So <laughs> your mileage may vary. This is my experience um, that I wanted to share with you guys. But I think that some of you will be very surprised to hear the amount of feedback, even on the third pass that we get on the left side. Now, that's not this. I love, I pref, if I owned this razor, I have this on loan from Mike Bailey, I would use the standard. I think <clears throat> this is the perfect aggressiveness because it doesn't overdo it. And you can still get three passes in. It's hard to get three passes in with this guy and not cause a bunch of irritation. It's just so aggressive. It's hyper aggressive. I love this razor. I love the knurling. I love the look of it. I love the feel of the shave right here. So now we'll do this side with the hyper aggressive as well. It's the second pass where we're going to mix things up a little bit. That feedback is amazing. I normally shave every day. So quiet, I'm home alone. I have a rinse bowl down here to my right. So now I'm gonna lather back up. On the left side, I'm going to again use the hyper aggressive, but on the right side, I'm going to use the regular super speed. On Monday night, I did this shave, um, but I did it with the Roll of Sin 21C. I'm gonna save that review for this weekend. Um, 
and I got the same results that we're about to see. For that shave, I used two first use perma shape perma perma sharp blades. I had the package somewhere, and I'm now using those two same blades on a second use. Getting a little dry there in the bowl. Let the face take a squirt. I 110% believe in your mileage may vary, but at the same time, I also believe in the law of physics and math and, you know, that there are different things, you know, that we will all have different experiences, but I think there's some things that are just, should be universal. Well, that doesn't mean I'm right, right? I'm just telling you what I think. Perception is reality, and maybe that's just my perception. I don't pretend to know it all, but I do like to think I have an understanding of how razors work. And I've been doing it long enough that if I've been paying attention, I should. Beautiful lather. I'm eventually going to do a video of why I scoop, but um, if you have as many soap tubs as I do, I do recommend scooping. So let's go ahead and do, let's do the super speed. All right. Perfect blade alignment. All right. Flip it over here. Now we're going to get more feedback here. It's also just a louder razor. I haven't found a bad razor in this. I've used the standard and the Hyper a bunch of times now. I've had this on loan from Mike for, oh, probably a month or two. And it's a beast. Okay, so now for the third pass, I'll use the super speed um, on both sides. For a one pass shave, there's definitely not a better razor. I, I do recommend if you want a one pass shave, this hyper aggressive does fit the bill. It does exactly what it was designed to do. It gives you the most efficient shave possible with one pass. Um, I tried doing it across the grain and against the grain to fully maximize it. Maximize it. Against the grain, I just get it to be get it to be comfortable enough. It was just too much, um, especially for the skin afterwards. That's getting too much redness. Um, and then across the grain, it was better, but it still left my skin way too irritated. Again, your mileage may vary. All right, super speed. So 0 0.075 of an inch blade gap. So you rinsed off well enough. I know the camera is trying to focus on my beautiful mug here. Let's do this. All right. Ooh.
So it's still picking up some stubble. Even on this side. Be no, more noticeable down here where my hair is thicker. So as you can see, we got a little bit of feedback. The sterling did remove the majority of the stubble with two passes. You can see you really hear it and it's with the one pass as you see i got myself in a couple spots not bad just a couple little weepers which is actually pretty good um generally i don't get myself as harder when i'm talking and doing the video i've actually gotten it down to where i can get a nice smooth efficient shave without cutting myself open so I still missed a little bit right here and we can always you know what I think I like doing most with this aggressive this sterling hyper aggressive is across the grain just a one pass across the grain So hopefully you guys could hear that and it showed, her, turned up well enough <clears throat> on the camera for you guys to hear it. Give me just a quick second here. Um, I'll get cleaned up and I'll be right back. All right. So a couple little weepers. You'll be fine. They'll close up in no time. I didn't use them. Well, I got my alum right here. Beep. I need to grab that new alum sticks that they have at PAA. Alum sticks. Oh, that's burning. I feel the sting, gentlemen. If you do ever pick up that razor, um, the Hyper Aggressive, it is designed for one pass, and that's what I recommend doing with it. The standard plate is, is perfect, in my opinion, for, for me and my face and how I shave. So... If you follow my Instagram, you guys might have remembered where I was doing like a community spotlight. I was thinking I kind of want to do something similar here with YouTube this summer. And so at the end of each video, I'll just talk real briefly about friends of mine who also create content. And then if you guys have never checked them out, I want to invite you to do so. And today, since I'm using Mike Bailey's razor, I'm going to again refer you guys to his channel I did this once before because i borrowed three razors from him thank you again mike i appreciate you very much it was a super duper treat getting to try both of those gibbs razors um and this sterling i've always wanted to try the sterling i wanted to buy it when it came out and then it went away so having the opportunity to use it is a great blessing thank you sir I have thoroughly enjoyed playing uh, with these razors. Mike Bailey is the Bowtie RN. Damn good people. A fellow serviceman. Thank you once again, Michael, for your service. And he is a registered nurse. And he also does um, like how to tie bow tie type ties. I can do no bow ties, Windsor knots. And there's one other like traditional knot that I can do. Um, so if you're ever curious on how to do that, Mike's also a great resource for that. And he's damn good people. You can reach out to him and he'll help you share his wisdom and insights. Thank you, Michael. Bowtie RN. Check him out. Scentless. Scentless. 
Take care. Thanks for joining me in the den today. i uh, got a couple of reviews coming, and I will be doing a rant video all about open comb, angle, gap, and exposure, and my opinion on thoughts and thoughts and thoughts and thoughts. It's a little big things. It really is. It's only shaving. Save the drama for your mama. Until next time, take care of yourself.